guys, I'm here with Sergi at his school in Savannah. And today I'm gonna show you a, an arm bar attack. One of my favorite ones that I learned a long time ago. I just wanna share it with you guys, okay? So you gonna have you feel on your side, just like I was. Um, so I got some feedback that a, a few guys wanted to see some arm bars. So I'm just gonna show one of my favorite arm bars. And again, it's very basic. It's kind of one of the first moves I learned, like one of the first sequences I learned. And I'll try to do a few different angles for you guys, but uh, it's so effective. It's simple, but it's so effective. And that's the best kind of technique, guys. The ones that you can rely on, you know, in a tournament or a hard roll. It's not like something fancy that's low percentage. This is something that can work every time if you get it right, okay? So when I'm on the side here, I'm, uh, you know, if, he, if he's kind of tight like this, it's very hard to get a submission. And what I don't want you guys to do is to leave a lot of space trying to, you know, get something. Because look, he's going to recompose easy, okay? Or even Nogi or something like that, man. I, you can't afford to leave a lot of space. Uh, so one of my favorite things to do is, is to initiate my moves with a knee on belly. So before I go, look how I control under his head. Nogi, I'll just control the, the shoulders with the gi on. I kind of like to use that collar grip, okay? And on the side of when I do the knee on belly, I want to block his hip with my forearm. I can either grab, even grab his pant or just his belt, just whatever I can to get my hand flat against his hips. And that's going to leave enough space for my knee to come in, okay? And from here, if you're in a tournament like IBJJF, you need to make sure you have your leg posted, guys, out to get points. Uh, but for here, just be nice and have my leg down. And what most people's reaction is going to be, it doesn't matter if you're a black belt or, you know, whatever. They're always going to push off that knee. And for us, this is a really good sequence because once he pushes off his knee, can you get a little bit closer? Yeah, I want you to come here. Look at this space here. This elbow, elbow space opens up. You see that? And man, I'm just going to get my fingers together and look, I dive it down. Okay? You know when a kid puts it, they're still in cookies out of the cookie jar? That's it, man. Just get in there and look. I've seen a lot of details with this, but the best details I've gotten from my friend Adam in, uh, in California. I'm gonna hook his shoulder and look, keep that knee on belly. I'm gonna bring my, uh, pull him up on his side and bring my forearm into his rib cage, okay? That's gonna secure this shoulder lock, all right? From here, I was in the collar. I'm gonna go outside, posting on the floor, and look, now I'm gonna bring my back leg, and my goal is gonna be to hide it under his back. Okay, so I know I said a lot of things, and again, I'm gonna show you different angles, guys, so you can see this. So I was on the collar, I let go to post over his head, my back leg, I'm gonna bring up, and look, keeping your grip on the shoulder, I'm gonna step over, and I like to turn my toes in towards his back. From here, I'm gonna go to sit my hip on the floor, and look at my knee, uh, Look at, come over here, look at my leg. As I sit, I'm gonna drape my leg over his body. Okay? If I can get it perpendicular with his body, that's perfect. I, I really don't wanna go too far up because it's gonna be easy for him to turn. Yeah, he's gonna roll out of that. But the more perpendicular I am, the harder that's gonna be. Okay? And look how I have my knees up, guys. If I can get this leg on his throat, that's even better. From here, both hands move towards his wrist. And I always want his thumb pointing up, guys. That's, that's the arm bar, basic arm bar, right? From here, I sit back, squeezing with my knees, and I bridge and pull down, okay? One thing I will do, if I feel I'm starting to, to turn, I'm gonna tap into my Aikido skills. Now look, I twist his wrist. Try to turn. Don't turn your arm, turn your body. You see how? I, I'm counterbalancing him. So if he wants to go this way, I'm turning his arm the other way, okay? So let's do that again, but I want you guys to see from a different angle, so you're gonna come from behind me. This time, that's where you go. So I'm in that side now. Again, the first thing I'm gonna do, I keep control of his collar with my thumb inside. My free arm is gonna go on his hip, his waist, and I like to block his hips. Okay, because some guys will keep their knee in very tight, there's no space. So I want to block his hips, and look, I bring my knee onto his belly. Post that leg if you want the points. All right, two points. I beat you up. From here, normal reaction is going to be to push off my knee. And look, 
I bring my fingers together, and then I'm not very nice here. I just, I just snake it in, man. From here, I'm gonna hook his shoulder, and I'm pulling his stomach. I'm pulling him onto his side, and my knee is really going into his stomach. Okay. Also, my my forearm is digging into his ribs, so he's kind of stuck. From here, let go of the collar to post on the floor, and look. When I step over, I kind of want to go bow legged, guys, like this. Okay. From here, I'm gonna sit back. I can even post if I if I can't sit too fast or I can't sit down very fast. And this leg is gonna drape around his body, over his body. Again, I wanna be perpendicular. For my people that don't know what that means, 90 degrees <laughs> with his body. So like a T shape, okay? From here, knees up. If I can get this leg on his throat, that's even better. Both hands to his wrist with his thumb pointing up. And now I'm gonna sit back, again, bridge and pull. If he tries to bridge away from me, I take his wrist opposite, okay? And I, I wanna make him pay for that. We're trying to get out of my arm bar, so I really bring my hips up as he's doing it, okay? And guys, just be careful. You know, you don't wanna hurt your partner, so as I'm doing this, I'm all, also trying to keep a look, an eye on him, make sure he's gonna tap out. If he doesn't tap, I go, hey, bro, you need to tap out. Okay, usually they listen and they tap out. That's good.